Many bugs and insects are sensitive to salt, and it can be used as a natural insecticide to control their populations. Some insects, like aphids and spider mites, are particularly susceptible to salt and can be effectively controlled using salt solutions. Salt generally works by dehydrating the pest, causing their body fluids to dry out and killing them. When salt is applied to a bug's body or sprayed on plants, it can help to repel or kill a variety of insects. Here are the best ways to use salt to kill or deter pests. 1. Slugs Pouring salt on a slug will kill it in a matter of seconds. However, it generally takes quite a bit of salt to do so. The salt kills the slug through osmosis. It draws water from inside the slug and rapidly dehydrates it. The problem with this method is that the salt can damage the nearby soil, leaving it unusable for planting for years to come. Salt can also damage other surfaces the slug may be crawling on, including wood decks, tiled floors, or painted surfaces. The other issue is it's not very kind. We don't know how much pain they feel when in contact with salt, but a slug or snail caught in granules will try to wiggle away while exuding a lot of mucus to clean their skin. 2. Fleas A common natural remedy for controlling fleas is to spread table salt or sea salt that you might have in your cabinet. Salt naturally absorbs moisture, so when you sprinkle it on fleas, it dries out their bodies. This is because many pests like fleas take in oxygen through tiny tubes all over their bodies. When they breathe in salt through these tubes, it can kill them. To use this flea control method, it is best to use extra fine salt. You can make this at home by using an appliance like a blender or food processor to grind the salt into a powder. Once the salt is ready, put on a mask to avoid inhaling the salt dust. Then, sprinkle the salt on upholstered furniture, rugs, carpeting, and other areas where the fleas might be hiding. Brush the salt into the fibers of the fabric and then let it rest. Be careful to avoid stepping or sitting on these treated areas during this time. After the salt has set for around 12 hours to 2 days, thoroughly vacuum the areas where you spread the salt. This will remove both the salt and any flea eggs or remains. Next, throw away your vacuum bag or thoroughly wash out the vacuum canister to help prevent the possibility of reinfestation. 3. Ants Salt is a natural treatment for ants. One existing way of doing this is to mix regular table salt with boiling water and waiting for it to be slightly cool enough to be poured into a spray bottle. The mix is then sprayed all over and infested areas of the house. Another option is to mix the salt with boiling water and to directly dump everything into an ant mound. This guarantees a lot of dead ants, but it may not be able to kill them all. Some ant mounds have complex deep underground tunnels that cannot be reached by outside forces. So it really just depends on how large the ant nest is. 4. Rats and Mice Rats and mice don't like the taste of Epsom salt and can detect the scent quite easily. To ensure that the Epsom salt does not go unnoticed, there are a few steps you should take. First, position the salt strategically. Place substantial amounts of salt near areas where rodents typically enter, such as cracks and crevices. Alternatively, shower the perimeter of your home or yard with salt to create a protective barrier, and when adding it to the trash, be sure to create a thick layer of salt on top rather than applying a thin coating. It's important to note that Epsom salt works best when combined with other methods, such as setting traps or sealing off exit points in the home. This way, not only will you make it less desirable for rodents to remain on your property, but if they are present, you can remove them quickly and humanely. 5. Snails Similar to slugs, if you want to kill snails, you can do so with salt. Salt absorbs water from mollusks, which dehydrates and kills them. Sprinkle the salt directly onto the snails or use a thick layer of it to create a barrier. Be aware, though, that salt can harm plants and other animals. 6. Cockroaches Epsom salt can kill roaches if you apply a watery solution of it in a bottle with a sprayer. Shoot the salty water at the bug with your nozzle as if you were shooting it dead with a gun. Epsom salt has the potential to kill roaches because it has a needle-shaped crystal formation that can hook into the cockroach's shell. This means it is not likely to work on an older adult cockroach, only bugs with softer bodies, such as baby roaches or brown cockroaches. The salts also contain ammonium nitrate and ammonium chloride, which serve to dry out the cockroach's body from the inside out, especially if you manage to drench its body with the deadly solution.
If you squirt an Epsom salt solution several times on a cockroach, it might drown in the salt solution, as its body is filled with tiny breathing holes. To make a salt solution to kill roaches, mix one part Epsom salts with four parts hot water in a bottle with a sprayer. Shake the solution vigorously and adjust the spray bottle's nozzle to narrow so it can aim a targeted stream at your cockroaches. You can try spraying an area with the salt solution, but Epsom salt is not that effective at destroying infestations in this way. 7. Maggots When you've got maggots in your home, you need to know how to get rid of them. The easiest method to use with something that you've already got in your home is to use salt. Maggots hate salt and can be killed through exposure to it. You can either pour granulated salt directly onto maggots, or you can create a table salt solution that can be poured or sprayed across food waste or a garbage bin. Try this system with hot water. If you pour boiling water across something, maggots will try to escape the heat and come to the surface. Then, you can sprinkle salt on them to ensure they die. 8. Frogs It is well known that frogs generally inhabit freshwater spaces, such as ponds, marshes, and inland water bodies. Using salt has become a popular method for deterring frogs. However, many amphibian lovers wonder if salt could kill these innocent creatures. Frogs can die due to salt exposure, depending on the species and the method of contact. Salt causes dehydration and disrupts their body functions, which can cause illness or death. Salt can be used in moderation to repel frogs around the home, but should never be put directly onto a frog. While mild salt usage is more likely to cause discomfort and skin irritation, excessive salt exposure can cause irreversible damage to frogs. A good way of making a salt frog repellent is to make a mixture of salt and water and spray frogs directly or spread salt around the area where they live. Be careful of plants. Salt can also cause plants to turn brown and die. 9. Bed Bugs You might think that dissolving salt and water would help to make it effective against bed bugs. It certainly makes it easier to apply to the places where bed bugs hide, such as seams along the mattress and cracks and crevices in your furniture. However, unfortunately salt water doesn't harm bed bugs. Dissolving salt in water doesn't make it any more effective at damaging the bed bugs' shell, which is what you need to do if you want to dehydrate them. Therefore, don't rely on salt water to solve your bed bug problems. 10. Raccoons Raccoons may be cute, but they are also very destructive. While your family is sound asleep, rascal raccoons meander into your yard, dig through your garbage, invade your vegetable garden, and eat the dog's food. So what can you do to get rid of them once and for all? You can use Epsom salt to repel raccoons. Raccoons detest the scent of Epsom salt as it irritates their nasal cavities. You can use this to your advantage by spreading the Epsom salt throughout your yard in areas where you need to keep raccoons away and reapplying once the scent wears off. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on how to get rid of pests using hairspray. Thanks for watching and bye for now.